All right, what's going on, everybody? Physio Trader here. I'm going to jump into a trade recap on the day. A very, very, very wild ride. And to be fair, and to be totally honest, not deserving of ending the day technically green. Now, after commissions, I guarantee it's going to be a losing day. Red commission day, green PL day. Um, you know, definitely overtraded. And that's because I kept getting close to around my hundred my hundred dollar target and then every time i got closed and i got back down to you know break even or a small trading day and then it just it just kept spiraling and spiraling and spiraling and and to be fair both times i took bigger losses than true be fair i should have ever taken they turned right back around and went in my favor so um to, to set up the context though this is uh the day that the fed released the minutes for the january meeting which basically said that well, we're, we're really not going to you know, do anything too quickly without you knowing it, or at least they don't anticipate it. They do and think inflation is a pretty big deal. Uh, so you know, it's kind of good that they're at least acknowledging that portion of the, uh, of the talk. Uh, but then on the second part of that discussion is that they, they really um, you know, don't have a clue yet what they're going to do, what they're going to choose. So that's, that's, in my opinion, very annoying. Like these are supposed to have a, a thing figured out. So maybe a little frustrated on that. Um, I, I seriously, absolutely no, um, uh, no, you know, good answer as to right or wrong, but, um, you know, either way, let's jump into the trade to recap. So, um, all right. So over here, uh, actually let, let's start out with RBLX. So RBLX gave earning or, uh, yeah, they gave earnings yesterday and it was just not a happy time. So 26, and 26% just seems to always keep popping back up. Um, this thing did not give good earnings, and um, and and I was, uh, you know, I, I wanted to short it. I wanted to see this thing come down, and it did. So now we've got ourselves a floor, and we're building ourselves a roof. Uh, it's a pretty big move, so that's why I only went in a 200 share allotment. Now, even though it did eventually bleed out, it did eventually make the a, a sizable move, a good move actually. Um, I, I shorted at 57.13. You can see over here it is 50%, which I hate when they change that. That just means it's more, um, uh, you know, more volatile. Uh, but also this circuit breaker. So I actually had to wait and short it on an uptick, which means you can't short on the bid. Um, or at least during the market open, that's what that circuit breaker stands for. So, um, you know, we took for absolute ever. I thought this was a beautiful, beautiful setup, a beautiful pattern. Um, and to be fair, 100% it was. I just didn't give it the time it deserved. I truly did not give it the time that um, that it deserved and it was deserving of. So, um, you know, since we just were moving, 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 um, got a little bit of this break above VWAP, came back down. To be honest, instead of closing that position, I should have added to it. Um, and, and again, this I understand that this is, you know, take that away. I understand that that is easy to say in hindsight because now I know that it just bled through. But to be fair, that is a huge, um, you know, kind of a boneheaded move there. So I should have been adding to that instead of taking away so quickly. But also to also throw out is that this thing doesn't really move very much. Uh, I felt like I was giving it plenty of time. Um, I mean, look at that from, from entrance to exit, two minutes to make $9. So um, it is what it is. Um, and and I'll, I'll definitely, you know, again, to kind of showcase this, just kept going, going, going real small, real small, slow day. And then it just started to finally pick up a little bit of speed um, to end the day over there. So that is the first trade. Second trade is over here let's start let's try to go back to the beginning just so we're we're fair here let's get rid of these lines so nvidia opens today uh very very um you know quite of a big upward move yesterday very big opening today that opening candle now knowing in going into this um it's earnings season it's earnings day uh, as well as fomc meeting uh minutes so i was really just kind of cautionary the entire time um, you know, hindsight says you should have done something else. But um, at this point, I went long thinking that this was a reversal point, which was, again, I knew I was going against the trend. And so that is why I ended up, as soon as I kind of realized, oh, well, that's not a good idea. I didn't, I went against the trend. I took $3. I mean, how pathetic. But then I ended up taking a loss of 160 And it was annoying, but it also felt good given the fact that, you know, I cut it. 
at a good logical point. You know, I found my point in the sand and I said, I'm going to cut it. So uh, it's annoying. I deserved it. Uh, and then after this, I kind of chased this one down thinking, okay, we can really speed up. Now the level twos, which you don't see here is the level twos really sped up very, very nicely. And so then I started shorting against it. Uh, basically at the 257 break, short, short, short. And then I was just covering, covering, covering. Um, came close to so this minus 160, got around 90 of it back. So at this point, I'm sitting around, uh, you know, 44, 50 bucks down in the hole. Um, and then at this point, uh, just, you know, now I'm playing this long, basically that same pivot point reversing in long. And then this is where I'm like, okay, what am I doing? I'm not giving these things enough time to make their move, especially the long side to the short side. I mentally just prefer to scalp instead. But, um, from here, you know, basically played it up a couple more times, just very small scalps, uh, went long here, took a loss. So, um, took a loss over here at 83 and then here the annoying part on this candle right here I actually shorted it thinking that we were just going to get a uh, basic if you draw a line here to here um, kind of preemptively speculating that so shorted over here and then uh, actually covered um, shorted 100 covered for 300 so now I'm long 200 bought 300 so now I'm long 500 and then at this point, just covering, covering. Uh, so there, right there, minus 160 again, um, plus 29, plus 70. So plus, um, what is that, 109. So again, now I'm dying, uh, down around 100 bucks. And then at this point, like I said, just, just trickling this one back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, small scalps every time. Now I'm getting irritated, which is probably the first uh, inclination at this point, building into small positions, things falling down, falling down. And then at this point, I take a $320 loss over here. Nope, nope, I'm sorry. The $320 loss was over here. I'm building, building, building right here. And then, you no know, building, 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 take the loss here. And then turns out that would have worked out very, very nicely. Um, and then, of course, building, selling, building, selling. And then the last, uh, basically the last fill on the day over there is going to be, um, I was building, building, building in this position right over here. And then eventually I just hot keyed out at 263. Now, in hindsight, it worked out very, very nicely. It was up 600 shares and then I sold out and I lost over 800 on that position. Now here is the crazy part. Um, so here's the crazy part, as you can see right here, these dot, these dot, these dots. So this is an after hours uh, move. So like I said, this was a earnings play. So at this point I actually had an order at 260, got filled, didn't even realize it. And then I look over and in that same minute, this thing goes as low as 251 and I got my second fill at 251.62 and then I sold out 200 shares at 261 um, and that ended me on the day at $1,037. So since I was already in the whole 1,000, that basically broke me even, and that is the remaining PL. So, like I said, after commission, it's going to be a red day. Um, I got bailed out into a bad trade, and that is just not anything good that I want to do. So, uh, very annoying, very frustrating day. Um, and actually, I guess I didn't really kind of showcase. Um, you know, a couple seconds later, I got bailed out, came back down. So, I felt like a genius for half a second and then went all the way up here to 274. So that would have been a much larger win, about a $3,000 more dollar win. And now we're just kind of going sideways. So at this point, um, I don't really like the way that the direction is headed and I don't really like the way I traded that in general. So bad trade overall. So uh, I'm gonna sit out on the next day, just try to sit on my hands on this one. So um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hope everybody stayed green. I'll catch you on the next one.